Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hello, dear friends. I am Carol Pohea, and we are here at Kardec Radio every evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard through power of prayer. This reincarnation, beloved friends, is such a blessing because we now, due to the fact that we have the treasure of spiritism in our hands, can perhaps for the first time in many millennia make the conscious choice to connect heart to heart, heart with feel the creator's blessings through and through. This is why we begin these moments with an opening prayer. Then, in order to share the much that we have received, we read a message and comment on it so that those around us, incarnate and discarnate, can benefit from the feel of hope that we shall all take as prescribed by the tonight. Then we shall end this moment with a closing prayer, allowing our hearts and our homes, as well as our neighborhood, to become a collective beacon of light connected to the very heart of the Christ. What a blessing, right, dear Narciso? Right, Betty Cruz? A big, beautiful hug in each and every one of directly from the loving mentors who have prepared this very special moment for us. And welcome everyone who is here connected to our platforms. Let us then log in onto the network of universal love through an opening prayer. Let us close our eyes, uniting feelings and thoughts. So good. We visualize Master Jesus amongst us. And as he did in the Sermon of the Mount, we also visualize him multiplying the bread of compassion, the bread of hope, the bread of divine love to satiate humanity's hunger for soul nourishment. We pray a visual master Jesus emanates love towards those who are physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally ill. We pray so that the divine physician shall embrace them in compassion, reminding them that this too shall pass. We also pray for those who are undergoing the dramas of life separation through discarnation, a momentary separation through imprisonment, a momentary separation through addictions, a momentary separation due to family challenges. We pray so that the Christ emanates love and compassion towards all of those offering the bread of compassion and hope to them as well. We also pray for those who have the impulse and the thought of taking their physical lives away. We pray so that the soothing gaze and loving heart of the Master may bring them relief and faith so that they may march forward in fulfilling God's will. And 
And finally we pray, the good on earth becomes stronger and more visible as we together make efforts to seek the good, visualize the good, mold the good, and feel the good in every possible way. And with your permission, dear Mother, Father, God, we ask to begin this prayerful moment. Our blessing, friends, we are officially logged in onto God's network. And the vitamin that we are going to take for the soul tonight comes from the spirit Juana de Angelis through the mediumship of Chico Xavier, this, uh, of Devaldo Franco, excuse us. And this message is published in the Spiritist magazine. Issue six. Hello, John de Rosa, and hello, Veronica. Much, much love to both of you. May you feel the loving presence of the mentors who are here with us. Let us then begin reading the message that Joana de Angelis prepared for us tonight in the name of God and the remedy that we all need. Joana de Angelis says, our current dramas, behavioral changes, incompatibility of ideas, emotional disarray, financial despair, affective frustration, inner unrest, anxiety and nervousness, depression and discontentment, generalized violence, restlessness, lack of friends, producing sol solitude. All of these, says Joana de Angelis, result from selfishness. Now that Joana de Angelis described the dramas of life, Joana de Angelis kindly will describe the solutions for these dramas. And she says, love without demanding reciprocity work without quitting, pray without revolt, serve without retribution, forgive without conditions, and leave trusting in the victory of goodness that will never leave you abandoned or in disgrace. Disgrace is the result of selfishness, while happiness is the fruit of love. So beloved friends, are we at times experiencing, are we at times experiencing soli uh, solitude? Are we at times experiencing depression, discontentment, restlessness? If we are, that means we are definitely enrolled in the right school for the soul because Joana de Angelis tells us how to shift our perception instead of feeling victimized by life, instead of feeling forsaken, instead of feeling as though we are receiving a punishment. Joana de Angelis invites us to forget thinking about ourselves solely and practice expanding our hearts and embracing the universe. She proposes that love is the remedy for us but only when we love without expecting retribution. Most of the time on earth, dear friends, we may be habitually engaged in loving conditionally. What do we mean? Often 
when we relate to one another, we have our inner calculation in our minds, telling, reminding us, oh, we want to be friends with so-and-so because they can explain uh, technical issues with computing that we need to know and that will be helpful to us. Oh, we want to be friends with so-and-so because they have a house in a location and we are friends with so-and-so because in the long run of life, they may help us achieve one of our goals. Though we may not say it, in the back burner of our minds, we may have a hidden list of conditions that push us towards developing particular relationships. But since Jesus is our model, we learn that we are on earth, to follow his footsteps. In order to follow his footsteps, we are being invited tonight by Joana de Angelis to read ourselves from our attachment to appearances, to titles, to positions, to Uh, Joana de Angelis is asking us to go beyond our comfort zone, to go beyond the inner calculation that we often make, leading us to the equation of our comfort zone. We say, uh, we will be friends with so-and-so, 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 because they will guarantee our security, our peace of mind. The master is his own peace of mind. He prioritized the peace of mind of others by reaching out to others constantly. And often we have the habit from many millennia of engaging in mental battles with individuals that are part of our lives when we have certain expectations that are unfulfilled. Our inner child comes out and we say, how come such and such person didn't say this to us? How come such and such person didn't recognize our effort? How come such and such person didn't give us the support that we needed? We thought we could count on us, on them. And our list of complaint, complaints go on and on because we feel entitled to receive. We feel entitled to serve. We feel entitled to be loved. And this is where the drama that Joana de Angelis presents to us begins, when we put ourselves first. But if we make an effort daily to shift mentality, beloved friends, and when we are in a particular interaction with someone, we ask ourselves, how may we love this person more? How may we serve this person more? How may we be useful to this person at a greater level? So instead of sitting and ruminating upon who is going to do the dishes first because it's not our turn, We get ourselves because we start feeling the joy of helping, the joy of supporting one another. This is the Christ-centered shift in way of living that we are being invited 
to uh, do tonight. Whereas when we stay focused on our needs, we experience unsettlement, anguish. When we shift to putting others first, then we experience love inside of us and out of us since love is the greatest force in the universe which never stops expanding so is everyone ready to be a love expander jesus is counting on us to expand our every day in every one of our relationships starting at home so let us think tonight and tomorrow within the next 24 hours mentally in for every single person we meet even if we meet people walking the dog while walking the dogs right john de rosa let us pray So God serve this person more. God, can you show us? We are also going to ask dear friends, dear God, can you please show us how we can love this person more? Let us spend 24 hours practicing this new mindset. This new mindset is shaped by two central questions. I'm going to write that so we all remember. A shift in mindset. We are going to ask ourselves, ask ourselves, Choose two central questions. In the next 24 hours. In the next 24 hours. One is how can we serve each person become come across more? And we may say, but Carol, we don't know everyone we meet very well, so how can we serve them? We can, beloved friends, Pray for them. Mentally say, this is a beautiful child of God, dear, dear Mother, Father, God. Help us imprint in this person through your mother and hope. So even if we don't say anything verbally, our emanations, our vibrations, are still going to be a way in which we are going to be of greater service. And the second question that we are also going to ask is how can we love those, those whom we come across more. For instance, sometimes when we see someone who is temporarily homeless, We don't have time to care for them right now. Or they should maybe 
uh, find a job or we are not going to give them any support because we don't know what they are going to do with the support we offer. These are judgmental thoughts that are um, somewhat common. But if we propose to love, we say, well, it is not by chance there was brothers and brother and sister of ours so let us visualize the Christ embracing them and if we cannot do anything we will smile to them with much love and say to ourselves may God bless this brother and sister of ours so we are all capable of co-creating a loving attitude, it's an attitude of willingness to be useful. This is our hard work for the next 24 hours. And to thank God, beloved friends, for this beautiful opportunity to read ourselves of dramas and march forward with eternal solutions, we shall now say our final prayer. Before we do, friends that joined us, Erica Camargo, welcome friend, and Michelle Florentino, Eliane Guedes, welcome, welcome. Let us then pray, beloved friends. Dear Mother, Father, God, we would like to thank you for the constant opportunities you grant us to live our self-centered perspectives that we have carried for millennia. Thank you for this precious lifetime that offers us time and again doors that lead us to more service, to more opportunities to love others, to more opportunities to be useful to others. Kindly, dear loving God, we pray so that we are able to see the seas of them. We pray too for everyone who, like ourselves, is making an effort to do the good. And we pray so that we don't fall into omission and we don't fall into inertia because we need, we are being called to be active multipliers of the good. We know that you have given us so many talents, spiritism being one of the most precious. Give us the strength and the discernment to know how to act in accordance to what we believe. Help us to be coherent in embracing your loving proposal of putting love into action through attitudes, choices, and finally, actions and words. Thank you for enlightening us every day through your messengers of hope. And with much gratitude in our hearts, beloved God, we thank you for the blessings of being incarnated on the earth and for the many manifestations of your love since the moment of creation. We can finally say we love you, dear God, and we cannot wait to learn to love you all the more. And so be it. Thank you, dear friends. It feels good to stretch the capacity of our hearts. This is what we are here for, to 
exercise love, trusting that we will embrace this loving opportunity. We wish you many beautiful blessings, beloved friends, and we are the ones who thank you for this opportunity of learning and praying together, becoming a little better today than we were yesterday by opening our hearts towards our universal family, feeling the blessings of God and feeling the love of those who have cared for us for millennia. We bid you goodbye for now, and we already look forward to our next encounter. But in the meantime, don't forget to stay tuned right here on Kardec Radio, because here there's always more to nourish our souls. A big hug, dear friends. <laughs>